95% of the market today in the world, staffing firms, 95% are funded. That's what Telepresence was initially bought for, and it's perfectly well suited to that market. Second, job matching integration to larger environments with existing technology to help them with their job matching. Third, professional services fees, data integration, customization, and high value added services. Barriers to entry. We think we have the best solution on the market. We have two U.S. patents for profile matching. The Thesaurus in Talent Browser has been used to recruit for IT and financial services, the two largest <coughs> verticals in the world, and is customizable within a week or two for any other industry. The, lock, the current system is built. It's been in use for over four years to recruit for Wall Street. It's mature, it's robust, it's tested, it's tested, it works. I loved your story. We had two people too, <laughs> um, and we followed a lean startup. And we are, you know, we want to get a bit fatter, actually, to tell you the truth. Um, but um, um, my background is recruiting. I recruited. Um, I recruited since 1997 for IT, financial services, derivatives, etc. Um, I ran my own staffing firm in Tech for over 10 years. I've done all sides of it: business development, recruiting, you name it. John, so his first real-time decision support, support arbitrage trading system back in Dublin. When he was 25 years old, and he's been building software, architecting it, integrating it, and um, uh, developing it himself for over 25 years. Competition. There are a lot of HR tech products out there. None of them have the job matching that we do. We see opportunities to integrate with them, to work a lot alongside them, and to, to, to empower them. We want to become the de facto standard in job matching. So as Janet said, uh, our product is, is developed. We have customers signed up, and we have, we have our training set up. We, we have to take the people on board. Our strategy really is to multiply our growth rather than to grow organically. So over the, over the next, at the end of 2017, our, our top line shows the uh, direct subscribers. We hope to get to 2,000. Uh, with sufficient investment. Uh, we would also, as a byproduct of that, do some do significant integration. We're assuming that for every direct subscriber, we would have two integrated subscribers. So our revenue here is recurring revenue. We do show some uh, revenue from professional services and data integration, but it's not our it's it's not our core business. Our expenses are proportional to the customer support, the amount of customers that, that we're supporting. Our funding, apart from blood, sweat, and tears, we put in half a million dollars of our own money over the past 11 years. And we've just gotten a convertible note in January of this year, and our plan is to raise uh, two million. And with that two million, we would heavily invest in marketing and sales, and there would be some uh, support and technical expenses and admin expenses. Thank you. Any questions, please? Any questions? Can it be gained uh, by a, a resume? I mean, when you're talking about keyword searches and whatnot, uh, people already know how to put in those keywords. And is, that, is that possible? Can you address that? Or? It, it, First of all, it takes a smart person to put in the correct keywords in the correct areas. And uh, secondly, they tend to, uh, you know, come to the very top very quickly. And the first time you see such a resume, you discount it. You, you never have to look at it again. But yet, that is that is a, a, an effect. Um, what is the sales strategy? Okay. 
add one thing to what John said. The big difference with Town Browser is the search is not hard-coded, it's not hidden, it's not 